You sure you don't want that beer now? Or maybe something stronger. I have absinthe. Maxie left it. I think you're guessing. About Michael killing Claudia? <laughs> I followed you that night, too. You might want to be a little more observant next time. What if I wasn't a friend? You can tell me exactly what you think you saw. <sighs> well, I think that I saw you find the car wreck. I think you and your girlfriend lit out for the cabin. And I think I could have been driving a forklift and you wouldn't have noticed. Where were you? Right behind you. Horror show. Sonny's ex-wife laid out on the couch in shock. His wife lying dead on the floor. And Michael kneeling over her with the murder weapon. I couldn't have staged it better than What do you want? I can even try to spin this. Michael got to the cabin after Claudia was beaten by an unknown assailant. Maybe Carly did it. Or maybe Claudia whacked herself okay, with you the axe You made your big impression, now what? Do you think that's what I wanted, to impress you? Get over yourself. There are things about me, things you can't even begin to imagine. Tell me. What? You gonna turn me in? After everything I've done for you? What, Joey Limbo? He said I was harmless. I'm not harmless. I believe that. Why is this kid so important to you? Michael offed his stepmother. It happens all the time. I once did a piece on a 10-year-old who took a blow I have to protect Michael no matter what. No, you don't. You just tell yourself that. You pretend like you don't have a choice. You're a killer because you want to be. It feeds something in you nothing else no, ever has. No, it doesn't. Bad thing. You're a genius. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. I've heard enough of this. You can't just leave. You already left unfinished business at Front Street. Clean this up. You know you want to. What? Silver Beretta 9mm, if I recall correctly. So what are you waiting for? Why don't you whip that sucker out and blow pieces of me all over this studio? Who could tell? Is that what you want? <sighs> there you go again, refusing to own it. What I want? Come on, you've killed dozens of others for less reason. And you'll feel so good after. Have you had your fix today? You want me to get caught? You're right. You can't just kill a celebrity in his studio and expect to walk. You need to lure me to some place not associated with either of us. The Pine Barrens is out. <laughs> There's probably a cemetery worth of corpses in there that you've dumped. You know, do you ever think about putting up gravestones in a little visitor's booth where you can hand out flowers and maps? You're trying really hard to make this happen. I don't have a death wish. Not for myself. I'll keep that in mind. Franco is completely crazy. What happened? We talked. I mean, Franco did most of the talking. He's, he's a smart guy, but he is completely obsessed with me. Okay, what did he say? He's uh, fixated on death and killing. And he said he's a big fan of my work. 
like I'm some kind of artist or something, but everything he's been doing was to get my attention. To find everything. He's been following me for months, Sam. He knows that Michael killed Claudia. And this guy's gonna use what he knows to get me to play his game. I see why the jackal is here. Who is he? Who? This jackal. Oh, he's I. Me. You too? No, he's me, not I. You. Me? You what? Uh, perhaps we should begin again. From the top. Allow me to introduce myself. I've never seen a throat slit, Spinelli. Neither have I. What do you think it's like? I can only imagine. Graphically? Now there comes a time in an artist's life when he needs to experience the world firsthand. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I would say that would depend entirely upon the experience. I'm glad you're here. Apparently. What we have here is a failure to communicate. I need to send a message. And you are it. Franco wanted me to like him. He kept going on and on about how we're both artists of death. What is that supposed to mean? He's trying to compare what I do to what he does. Okay, are you telling me that he's trying to compare his paintings to killing or that he's killed people too? I don't know. But the way he was talking made it seem like he knows a lot more than just how to paint. I mean, he's a tough guy to get a read on. He was the one who kept asking me questions about my process. Like, he wanted to know why I was so good at what I did. And he said something a little weird. He said that I hide behind other people instead of admitting that I enjoy killing. You don't. <sighs> he was getting angry me because I didn't say anything he wanted to hear so I finally decided to leave and I headed for the door and that's when Franco told me he saw Michael kill Claudia I don't like this this is not sounding well, good I mean I guess I could have shot him right there but I don't know what kind of evidence he has against Michael and where it's going to turn up so I just I just well, walked that's away that's good you did the right thing for now anyway at least I know Franco is not going anywhere why he thinks we're both artists of death. He wants to prove he's better than me. He made me wait. I don't wait. I waited for him. Well, Stone Cold can be vexing in that regard. I wanted him to like me. He had his chance. Well, you know, words are not Stone Cold's friends. Um, I would suggest not taking the presumed slight personally. I take everything personally. You know, I can see this, this is a most inopportune time. So. You're here to talk about your girlfriend. Relax. I wanted Maxie for the same reason I want you. I want you to deliver a message to your roommate. Tell when you call him. Stone Cold? Not for long. 
tell Stone Cold the next time he'll show a little respect. Next time? Come back soon, you hear? I still don't know what kind of proof Franco has on Michael. Pictures, probably video. He's probably got some kind of backup plan in place in case he dies. But you know what saves this? He's using Michael as a means to an end. It's all about provoking me. What happened? Um, the Jekyll has been forcibly instructed to relay a message to Stone Cold from Franco. You, you went back over there? Spelly, what are you thinking? I told you to stay away. I was hoping to clarify certain things with Franco about Maximus. He could have killed you. Look, I don't, I don't know what Franco is, is capable of, but if he is who I think he is, nobody is safe. I, I'm, I'm truly sorry. Believe me, I deeply regret disobeying your orders. Spinelli, I'm just, I'm just trying to protect you. This guy is sick. He's fixated on me, which puts everybody that I know at risk. What else did he say to you? Did he threaten you? No, he, I mean, he didn't physically threaten me, but, I mean, it, but it was certainly implied in his tone. He, he spoke at length about how he views Stone Cold as a fellow artist, but he seemed deeply upset about you refusing to share your process. Okay. You said that he said something else about him, too, that he sent a message or something like that? Uh, yeah, Franco wanted me to convey to you that he will be waiting and that you should have treated him with more respect. Busy. Where's the bean? I must have called your other cell a dozen times. It died. Gunshot wound. Oh, no, not again. Promise me you won't blow away any more inanimate objects. Well, the toaster's starting to piss me off. This isn't funny. Now you've got the Fort Charles Police Department looking for you. I'm pretty easy to find. They want to question you about some mob killing. <laughs> it was self-defense. Some guy... Got my foot stuck in his mouth. Will you please just come back to Paris with me tonight before you do something I can't fix? Well, you can fix anything. Although, this time, maybe not so much. What exactly do you have in mind? <sighs> Jason Morgan doesn't want to play. So, I had to make some new friends. Then he'll play.